now that we've created our first Java program, Hello World, let's take a look at what we have made. We'll break down each part of the program to understand its purpose and its functionality. Here's our Hello World program. Public class Hello World, public static void, main string square brackets args, string message equals hello world, system dot out dot print line message, got our semicolons and curly brackets. And let's go through it step by step. First, we have the class declaration, public class hello world curly brackets. Public, this is a access modifier that, that means the class is accessible by any other class. Class, this is a keyword, it, it is used to declare a class in Java. Hello world, this is the name of the class and it must match the name of the file as it's public class. Hence the name hello world.java. A class is a blueprint for creating objects. And in our case, it contains our main method and other potential methods and variables. The main method, next we have the main method. We see this begin with public static void, main, in your parentheses, string, uh, square brackets, arcs, close square brackets in the beginning of your curly brace, and everything in between to the end of that curly brace, closing it out. Here, public, again, this means the method is accessible from anywhere. Static, this means that the method belongs to the class, not instances of it, but to the whole class. It can be called without creating an object of this class. Void, this means that the method does not return any value. We'll talk about these more soon. Main, this is the name of the method. It's the entry point of any Java application. The string square bracket in args, this is an array of string objects and it's used to pass command line arguments to the program. We're not actually using it in this case. Most of the time, you're not really. The main method is where the program begins execution. And inside the main method, We've declared a variable, string message equals hello world. String here, this is a data type that represents a sequence of characters. Message, this is the name of the variable. It is a programmer defined identifier. Hello world, and the equals in front of it, this assigns the value hello world to the variable message. And variables in Java are names that represent a location in memory where data is stored. Finally, we have the print statement, system.out.println message. System.out, this is a standard output stream that outputs data to the console. Print line, this is a method that prints the argument, passed to it, followed by a new line character. Here, system.out.println message prints the value of the variable message, which is hello world, to the console. Notice the semicolons at the end of the line. Semicolons are used to end Java statements. Not all lines in a Java program end, end in the statement, but most do. A statement is a complete Java instruction that causes the computer to perform an action. For example, string message equals hello world. This is a statement because it completes an instruction by declaring a variable and assigning it a value. When we declare a variable, such as int hours equals 40. Int, this declares the variable type. Recall that was an integer. Hours, this is the name of the variable.
equals assigns the value, and 40 is the value that's assigned to the variable. The variable name hours represents a location in memory, and the Java virtual machine decides where this place will be placed in memory. To summarize, public class hello world, curl bracket, and this is where we're beginning to declare a public class named hello world. Public static void main, parentheses, string, square brackets, args, close square brackets, and a beginning curly brace, declares the main method where the program starts. String message equals hello world, semicolon, declares a string variable named message and assigns it the value hello world. System.out.println, parentheses, message, uh, semicolon. This prints the value of the message to the console. Understanding these components is crucial as they form the foundation of any Java program. Now, practice writing your own variations of this program and observe how changing different parts affect the output. One important thing to note is that the breaking to new lines do not matter. This can all be on one line if you want to. It knows the in based off the semicolons or statement, and it knows it's outside of the method by the any curly bracket. It knows it's outside of the class by the any curly bracket in the appropriate spot. <sighs> Maybe we need some biscuits to go with this Java. Bon appétit.